factoring trinomials. Determine the polynomial which has x minus 2 as its factor. Four polynomials are given to us. I'd like you to copy the question answer and then look into my suggestion. This is a very good question and I hope you'll appreciate it. There are so many ways to do or solve this question. One is of course you can factor all four of them, right? So x squared minus 16, you can write this as x plus 4 times x minus 4, right? So it's factored and we can see that x minus 2 is not a factor for this particular polynomial. So likewise you can factor the other three also and figure out which polynomial has x minus 2 as a factor. This is one way of doing it. Now can you tell me alternate way of doing the same thing? So what is the alternate solution? Well, in this you'll observe 4 plus and minus 4 are factors for this polynomial. If I put x equals to 4, what do I get? 4 minus 4 is 0, so I get a 0, right? If I put x equals to minus 4, even then I get 0. That means if the factor is 0, anything multiplied by 0 will give us 0. So if x minus 2 is a factor of the polynomial, then x equals to 2 should give us 0, right? Should give us 0, right? Well, that is also a way to find x intercepts. So at times we can frame this question as to figure out whether do we have x intercept at x equals to 2 or not, right? So we'll, we can adopt this method also to check if given polynomials have x minus 2 as a factor or not. That means we'll substitute x equals to 2 and then figure it out. So you can use your calculator. Let's put 2 now. So if I put 2 here, 2 squared is 4, right? So 4. And then minus 2 and minus 6. Well, this is not equal to 0. So x minus 2 is not a factor. Let's try it here now. So if I'm putting 2 here, so 2 square is 4 and then plus 2 minus 6. Well, this is equal to 0 and therefore that is our solution. So we got one of them. Let's check here also. If I put 2 here, now since all are positive, this is indeed greater than 0, right? So not equal to 0. So that is a better way of answering such questions. And it also helps you to understand or rather remind you that if x minus 2 is a factor of your polynomial, then at x equals to 2, the value of the polynomial should be 0. And that is the property which we are going to use in solving such questions. I hope you appreciate it. I'd like you to subscribe and share my videos with your friends. Thank you.